We have seen a data page with only one data source. If you see over here, it is having one data source. If you want to have multiple sources, then what we can do is we can go with the condition that is the if logic okay if first one is true then it will never enter th into the next alternate storage in this video we are going to explain about how to use multiple data sources in data page based on the condition so we have already done one exercise video regarding how to retrieve states and districts in a drop down in that we used report definition now here we are now going to take only one data page and this data page is used in both the state and name of the city so when based on the city you are based on the state you select it will show us the city names here instead of using two report definitions or two data pages I have used only one data page and used in the name of the state drop down and name of the city drop down so let's first create a data page so there is already a data page created uh, in my instance so let's open that so this is the data page which which was created which is a structure list and if you look into the data source here I have two data sources if this is true then it will never execute this if it is false it will go to this otherwise logic so here I have written two report definitions one report definition is to retrieve city and another report definition to retrieve state so how do we retrieve city first to retrieve city we require the state name so unless and until you give state name you cannot retrieve city data so that's why what we do here is we will write a parameter state to retrieve city we need the state name so that parameter I am passing into the report definition over here if I open this report definition you can see param dot state based on the state parameter we will retrieve the district names and coming back to the state for state doesn't require anything simply you can uh, create one report definition it doesn't require any parameter and you can use a state column and this column will execute the uh, will give you the all the states data now what's the logic now the logic is whether you are giving a parameter or not so if parameter is given then it should go to city because to retrieve city we need parameter if parameter value is not given then it should go to retrieve state that is our logic so for that I have to write a when rule so in this when rule I am creating one when rule which is called as is state exist so what is that here I am checking whether parameter is available or not so for that I have to pass parameter param dot state so I'm passing parameter state and created one when rule if I open this this is a when rule and checking whether param dot state is not equal to empty that is whether param dot state exist or not yes if it is existing uh, or if it is not equal to uh, not equal to empty one then it should execute retrieve city okay if parameter is empty that means you are going for retrieve state so this is how we are writing it let me execute here unit testing action run so when I run this my parameter is empty so I'll run this 
if you run over here you can see there are four result yes why it got four because it will retrieve states over here all the states which I have in my data page let me go to px results in px results you can see that there is Telangana over here Tamil Nadu over here Karnataka over here and the last one we have Maharashtra so all the states have received as I said you right as state is empty it will fail this report definition it will go back to this and retrieves all the states and let me do another unit testing so I am writing here Karnataka so Karnataka has two districts in my data uh, data type or data object so let me see run and look at here result is 2 and let me see what is there in px results px results d10 Bangalore and px results d11 Bangalore so this is how we will use only one data page for retrieving state and city this is one of the interview question 2 right and next let me go back to the case and see the logic which we are written over here so this is the drop down so open this and see how do we call one data page over here so one data page source is empty that is your parameter is empty that means it will give you only the state name but coming to the coming to the name of the state it is having district name of the state as parameter so it will give you the district it is same data page which we used thank you